Hello guys, so today I'm bringing you the Totem Skyline. This is going to be a cruiser bicycle. I have done many other reviews of other electric bicycles. Uh, you can go through my channel if you want to look at it and um, you know, I'll, I'll share my experiences with them. Um, so if, um, so that you know about myself, uh, the way I use this bicycle is that I don't use them to practice any sports or go into rough terrain. I mostly use them to commute and just go outside. I use them in terrains like this. Um, and also here where I live is completely flat. So I cannot tell you how good this bicycle can perform in rougher terrain or steep roads. So um, you might want to consider getting something more powerful for that so um, I hope this video is of help to you if you find it helpful your support will be appreciated I'm taking my time to bring you this content and help you to uh, have a good buying uh, transaction and also to avoid any hassles that you may encounter with this bicycle so if you would like to support me, I will. Uh, I'm going to put my link on the description for my PayPal account, or also for a share a coffee with me. So with that said, let's get started here. And one of my first impressions of this bicycle is that it's a beautiful bicycle, and I would actually recommend you to buy it. But one of the things I can there is some small issues that I encountered so for example when I uh, bought this I bought two of them and I encounter uh, one of the rims was broken here so it was actually here and it was just cut like it was broken in half like this so the second bicycle uh, had an issue here with the gear it was just wobbly and I think it was the the axle here that was just damaged. So it looks like these bicycles may have been on some type of problem uh, with the container that they were being transported. So maybe it might have fallen and it caused some issues with the bicycles. So I don't want to scare you from buying it. Uh, I think that you probably want to buy it through a place where you can return it in case there's any issues or you can buy it from somebody that I had already tested it uh, and you know a place where you can test it yourself as well so that would be a good idea so with that said uh, let's go into the features of this bicycle and here you can see uh, it comes with this nice rack so that's a nice addition uh, that's something you know um, they could be a little bit pricey so if you can get this at a good deal and with the rack it'll be a nice um, nice deal so you have also this back flashlight as, as well and you get also a front flashlight as well so you both activated by holding the plus button here and um, they're pretty decent actually so another thing here that you get uh, so this is a cruiser bike so it's more focused on comfort so that's the reason why the, the seat is a uh, much more comfortable than the mountain bike seat um, so here we have the battery and you get a 10.4 amp hour battery so um based on my numbers somebody weighing around 170 pounds can get around 25 miles uh with this type with this battery capacity but that depends on the bar uh, on the quality of the battery that's another test that i did with another bicycle so i haven't done it with this but that's around what you can expect to get one of the problems i can say about the battery here is that to remove it you always have to remove the the seat as you can see this whole thing has to come out so you have a little handle here you pull it up and then you need to remove this because without you need to take it out so every time you know it's going to 
you had to do that so that's uh, uh, something I don't like too much but it's not a big problem either so here on the back here something I can also say is that you have the weight of this of the rack you have the motor you have the battery here and when you sit here there will be a lot of weight going on here and what that can create is that you could um, the the back tire could wear out much faster than the front wheel so if you add also a package here so there will be a lot of weight happening here on the back uh, but that's just my uh, my uh, you know I'm just analyzing this uh, it's not something that probably will happen um, so one more thing I can say also this will be as you can see this will be the lowest that the seat can be placed so I am around six feet and the distance from from the seat to the to the to the floor is going to be around 36 inches so as you can see here uh, I'm six feet and actually my feet uh, stays like this uh, on the ground so if you are shorter probably you will have to incline your feet a little bit more uh, to be able to when you're standing uh, to be able to hold a bicycle but I'm just mentioning I don't know if that will be a problem for you for me it's just okay so here you get uh, another thing here uh, that I can mention about the tires here is that you know this ones are much more uh, thinner than a mountain bike so this is 26 by 1 1.75 inches one of the problems I can say with thinner tires is that you can feel the roughness of the row a little bit more so here on this uh, on this trail here I found these little rocks like this here and I was feeling them uh, all of them I could feel them with these tires here uh, with the mountain bike the mountain bike can actually handle that much better but the good thing with these tires is going to be that they're smooth so they're going to be much um, they will have less resistance with the with the with the ground and it'll probably be more efficient for the battery to to uh, to move much more easily compared to the mountain bike which might have more resistance so that's also just me analyzing this type of tires uh, here you also have a quick release for the front wheel and as for the weight of this bicycle it's going around for to uh, 50 uh, so it's about 54 four pounds so 48 uh, pounds for the bicycle just the bicycle itself and six pounds for the battery so I would say for everything that you get for the the battery size and the rack I would say that's not a bad weight for this type of bicycle but um, I I actually prefer much lighter bicycle so like the totem victor the mountain bike uh, version of them it's going for around 48 pounds but the lightest bicycle that i have ever uh tried is the swifty bicycle by amazon at around 43 pounds so that's much nicer to hold to carry and also it's going to perform better uh, with the battery because it's less weight that the motor has to deal with so I can say that this is just a, a beautiful bicycle. Uh, I would recommend it that you can that you get it. Um, so you have two options: you have the pedal assist, and you have also a throttle here. So something I noticed with the pedal assist is that uh, once you start moving the the pedal uh, and you stop the the um the motor stops right away so once you're pedaling and then you stop 
the motor stops right away and then something that I feel about that is that it's just uh, you feel the sudden stop so once you pedal and then stop you feel the stop um, right away and that doesn't make the the ride too smoothly but that only happened with the pedal assist with the throttle it's just really smooth uh, the ride so that's most of the things I can say guys um, another thing I would say about the handlebar here is that it's really really nice uh, curvature there's some other ones that are too curved uh, I don't like that I like something like these um, I prefer sometimes the mountain bike a straight handlebar but that's just a, a preference thing so I do recommend this bicycle it's a very beautiful bicycle I hope that my review was so help to you consider subscribing for any future videos um, if you have any comments uh, or questions let me know in the comment section if you have experience with this bicycle uh, let us know in the comment and what your experience has been with this so I hope uh, this was of help to you uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time